It's English time! Hi, I'm Teacher Mitch. Come and join me as we learn English the easy way. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep updated with my latest uploads. Please also share and hit the like button if you appreciate my videos. Thank you! Hello there everyone! You made it! Ito na ang huling lesson natin for the fourth and final quarter. Vacation is waving! Pero bago yan, panoorin mo muna itong lesson natin about... Composing a research report on a relevant social issue. Have you heard of the term research report? Research report refers to a document that systematically, coherently, and methodologically presents the research work in written form. This is the method to record the research work and its outcome for future reference. What is the aim of research report? Bakit nga ba kailangan pang gumawa nito? The aim of a research report is to write clearly and concisely about your research topic so that the reader can easily understand the purpose and results of your research. In addition, a research report is a reliable source to recount details about a conducted research and is most often considered to be a true testimony of all the work done to garner specificities of research. Sa video na ito, hindi kayo gagawa ng research report dahil before you can make a research report, dapat ay mayroon ka ng nagawa na research project. To make this clearer, I'll show you the overview of the research process. It begins with the research proposal. Once your proposal is approved, you can now proceed conducting your research project. Then after you complete your research project, you can now compose a research report. As we proceed with our discussion, we will delve deeper into the parts of a research report para pag pinagawa kayo ni teacher ay alam nyo na ang mga parts na bumubuo rito. In addition, I'll show you an actual sample of a research report by the end of this video. Innovations are presented and applied in writing a research report. The development is the use of IMRAD format. This format refers to a paper which is structured by four main sections stated in this acronym. Introduction, Methods, Results, and Discussion. This format is often used for lab reports as well as for reporting any planned systematic research in the social sciences, natural sciences, or engineering and computer sciences. This is a sample outline of a research report. It consists of Title of Research Report Abstract Introduction Methods Results and Discussion We will talk about each part in detail. Let's start with the title. The title of your research report should be brief, specific, and informative. Title indicates the nature and scope of your report. It includes keywords so that your work can easily be accessed by electronic methods. Next is abstract. It summarizes the entire study. The abstract of the report comes at the beginning of the paper, but you should write it after you have drafted the full report. The abstract provides a very short overview of the entire paper, including a sentence or two about the report's purpose and importance, a sentence or two about your methods, a few sentences that present the main findings, and a sentence or two about the implications of your findings. Right after the abstract is the introduction. 
this section makes a case for your report. The introduction provides the purpose of the report and the background information about the research topic. Review of Related Literature, or RRL, is usually included in this section. So, if you are using the IMRAD format, the RRL section is not written separately, but is included in the Introduction section. In writing the introduction, you should begin by describing the problem or situation that motivates the research. Move to discussing the current state of research in the field. Then, reveal a gap or problem in the field. Finally, explain how the present research is a solution to that problem or gap. If the study has hypothesis, they are presented at the end of the introduction. Next to the introduction is the method section. It answers the question, what did you do? The method section tells readers how you conducted your study. It includes information about method used, instrument, population, sampling technique, procedures, and statistical treatment. The gold standard of the method section is that it should enable readers to duplicate your study. It means that if there will be other researchers who will conduct similar studies, they can make your study as their reference. Method section typically use subheadings. They are written in past tense, and they use a lot of passive voice. Bakit past tense? Because as mentioned earlier, a research report is the final step of a research work. Kumbaga, complete na yung study mo. Tapos na. Kaya kapag nag-compose ka ng research report, ay dapat nasa past tense na ang verb mo. This is typically the least read section of an IMRAD report. After the methods is the results section, where you answer the question, What did you find? In this section, you present your findings. The results should directly answer the research questions which are imposed in the introduction. Typically, the results section contains only the findings. Remember that no interpretations should be included in this section. Make sure all tables and figures are labeled and numbered separately. Lastly is the discussion which should answer the question, what does it mean? In this section, you summarize your main findings. This is where you discuss the relevance of the results and how your findings fit with other research studies. Consequently, you must show the implications of the results point by point and with proper evidence as well. You also discuss limitations of your study and use these limitations as reasons to suggest additional future research. In the IMRAD format, the conclusion which is a summary of the significant findings is included in the discussion part, as well as the recommendations which include suggestions directly relevant to your findings. Now, to make this task easier, I'll show you a sample research report para may pattern ka when you are asked to write one. I'll give you enough time to read carefully and comprehend each section. Let's begin!
Congratulations! You have successfully finished our fourth quarter video lessons. I hope na marami kang natutunan. Stay tuned ka lang for may succeeding uploads, mga Juan. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! Thanks for watching! 